Hello everybody and welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. And today I'm here in Worcester at starting Peugeot where I'm picking up my new van. Before we start the video, remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications of future videos on charge points, EVs and all related tech. And make sure you check us out on our social media. But as I said, the van's finally here. So I'd just like to say a special thanks to David Tyler here at Start in Worcester. He's kept us informed through everything. He did us a great deal on the van um, and we're really happy with it. And it's finally here. Smooth. Okay, yeah, so I thought I'd give you a little bit of a quick update. Um, drove out to the dealers. Um, first impressions, really smooth. Um, it's got great acceleration. I know a lot of this I've already covered um, in the first video when we took the van for a test drive. Um, this one, obviously, I've been able to try the B mode, whereas I couldn't do that on the van, and obviously it's got a few extra bits and pieces. Um, so... Yeah, the B, B mode gives a little bit more regeneration. Um, I don't know how useful that'll be on the motorway, but it's great to turn on when you're in towns and we've been doing some hills and stuff as well. Um, and that's been really good, um, putting a bit of extra uh, sort of juice in the battery. So I'm pleased with that. Head up display is really good because you don't have to take your eyes off the road to have a look at um, what the speed limit is. And it's got auto speed limit detection. So if you if you go through into a 30 zone and you're doing like 35 mile an hour, it starts flashing red to warn you over the speed limit. So again, really good because obviously um, a lot of people don't consider, but obviously driving for your job, it's essential to not get points on your license. Um, keep that clean license. So this helps you do that. Um, another couple of nice things. Um, so yeah, aircon seems to be working fine at the moment. I haven't got the aircon on actually, but uh, like yeah, just controlling the temperature. Um, yeah, driving modes. I've tried the eco mode. It's you know not the most pokey when you put it in eco mode, but at the same time, neither is my diesel van. It's probably comparable with that. Put it into normal driving mode, and it is really really pokey. So that's good.
nice little feature is um, I'll try and get some footage of it working at some point and add that onto here. But if you can see on the mirrors on the top right hand corner, there's a little symbol that shows uh, your blind spot. So when somebody pulls into your blind spot then, that goes orange, tells you there's somebody in your blind spot. So I really like that, that's nice. And then just generally loads of storage, some big side bins here. That'd be great for bits and pieces. Um, some nice little, again, little bins here. Drinks holder here, that's nice. Um, the DAB radio is good. Got it on my favorite station for alternative music. Um, I haven't bought a lead, um, I didn't bring a lead with me, so I can't try out the Apple CarPlay yet, but I'll try that when I get back. Again, another nice big storage bin there. Um, so yeah, very, very happy with it. Um, we have some racking, which has been sitting in our hallway at home, so I'm going to try and get the racking in as soon as possible, so we can... Uh, you know, try the van out properly, but um, I'm going to do a separate video on installing the racking um, and talk you through what I went for and why I made those choices. Um, just show you the, so, yeah, changing the driving modes here, and then, yeah, that's the drive mode, so when you turn the van on, it's automatically in that. Press the B button goes to B mode so yeah that um, obviously increases your regen as I mentioned earlier and then uh, the other nice thing is put it into reverse you get that reversing camera and as you start reversing you get this kind of 180 view as well so you can see where objects are um, at the side of you so yeah the camera's not the most clear but it's clear enough to know if there's something in the way um, and that's the main thing and the camera's sort of situated just above the number plate. So yeah, that's nice, and it obviously does, as you sort of turn the wheel, it turns the angle. Yeah, I noticed on this, the steering itself is totally the opposite to being sporty. So, um, yeah, feels like there's quite a few turns lock to lock, so I think I'm getting used to that still at the moment. So when you come to a sharp corner, it feels like you have to turn the wheel a lot more than you think you would. It feels like there's a few turns lock to lock. Um, but again, that's just something I'll get used to. I do like a sharp steering on a car, but um, I guess, you know, for a van, it's fine. And uh, yeah, it doesn't feel too big. Nice high driving position. So you've got good visibility onto the roads. Um, I don't think you can ask for more than that, really. So yeah, very, very pleased with it. Maybe I'll do an update video when uh, we've done a fair bit more driving so yeah don't forget to subscribe like the video it really helps the channel if you want notifications of future videos hit that bell icon check out our octopus referral code if you're interested in a 50 pound credit when you sign up with octopus and check us out on our social media and in the meantime thanks very much for watching